If CU's new president is losing any sleep over his contentious hiring today, he could try counting dollars. Mark Kennedy is going to have lots of them. The former Republican congressman from Minnesota takes over the University of Colorado system on a five to four party line vote. Republican regions for him, Democratic regions against him. Let's flip through Mark Kennedy's three-year deal to be CU president. $650,000 the first year, $850,000 after that. He'll get another $50,000 for visiting four places in Colorado outside Denver, Boulder, and Colorado Springs. All he has to do is visit. Half of Colorado's counties have a lower median household income than President Kennedy's bonus for driving out to see them. Hey, speaking of the drive, he gets a $15,000 a year vehicle allowance, enough to lease a new Maserati and have $455 a month left over for gas. Kennedy has been criticized for not valuing diversity. So regions want him to write a diversity and inclusion plan. He gets another $50,000 the day he turns that in. You would think the community outreach would just be the president's job, but he gets a $50,000 bonus for doing that. Another $50,000 for turning in a strategic plan. Kennedy is coming here from the University of North Dakota. It's 957 miles away, but I think his $80,000 moving allowance should cover it. CU will also pay for his country club initiation and additional reasonable expenses. Oh, and I forgot, a suite for CU football games, which, let's be honest, is of questionable value. So how does that compare to compensation at other public universities. So numbers obviously shift by contract, by school, by year, but looked at the compensation numbers that the Chronicle of Higher Ed put out last year. Looking at those numbers, CU President Kennedy would be near the top 10 in his first year.